today we're going to talk about how to update Pulsemate. Pulsemate support will let you know when an update is available by email or within the Pulsemate application. These updates are crucial to make sure your rates are up to date and you have the most recent features. You will need to run the update for every computer that runs Pulsemate, whether it's a main computer or an auxiliary. First thing we want to do is click help at the top of your screen and click on Pulsemate update. This will download the next update in the sequence. If you're a bit behind, you may have to do this a few times. Then we will want to close out Pulsemate and run a backup. A backup should be run every day regardless of if an update is available. After your backup is complete, you will want to restart your computer. Let it shut down completely and reboot. The refresh is imperative to the speed of your update and the performance of your computer. After it successfully reboots, you can start your update. At the bottom right of your screen, click on the small arrow and look for the update icon. After clicking the icon, you will see a window that will start the update. After clicking update now, a box will pop up asking if you'd like to read the update guide. Yes, is always the answer. This update guide will not only tell you about the carrier changes, but also the new features that are included. While reading the guide, the update will wait in the background. Exit out of the update guide and continue. The Postmate update wizard will load and you can start the update process. Look at the license agreement and check I accept the terms, then next. Then next again to pass the customer information. If you've completed the backup already, click the update without doing a backup at this time and click next. The update can take up to 45 minutes and if it seems too long, do not cancel. Call support to help. If you understand, click here and click next. Be sure your desktop button is checked if you would like to keep the Pulsemate icon on your home screen. Then start the install. You have now completed your update and can check these boxes to see the README file and the Windows installer log, but it's not required. If at any time you receive any errors while updating, call support at 800-485-6901 extension 1.